Hello and welcome back to Earth Defense Force. So today's mission is... Breaking Through. A large number of Vertarius have surrounded the city with a web and are slowly making it their nest. You sent an assault squad to evacuate the civilians who can... To rescue the civilians who cannot evacuate. And I want Stormtree to support them. Select a difficulty. Ad hoc deploying. So, I got a question. Are these webs fireproof? I mean, yes, we have civilians in there. We can't just firebomb it. Even though that is my suggestion, just firebomb it. This is Ranger. I have arrived on the scene. Like, look, look at this. Uh, honestly, wh whoever's left, I'm sorry. You're screwed. Oh my god. So there's such a shotgun every web to death. Yo, that actually worked really well. Like, that was stupidly effective. Not gonna lie, like, this is a great way for me to combat my fierce spiders. Because, like, I have a abhorrent fear of spiders. Not, like, you know, little itty-bitty ones that I can just, like, smush with a sandal. Like, I get nightmares where it's spiders, where the smallest ones are, like, the size of a very fat cat. And, you know, it's never just like, oh, here's a spider. It's always, like... You open a door and they're just like scuttling along the floors and the walls and they're just like surging through like a friggin' tidal wave. So it's like, this is kind of a nice way of dealing with that fear. And it feels really good to just be shotgunning them to death. I wish fire was more effective because then I'd just run around immolating them. But I take what I can get. I don't even know why I'm afraid of spiders. I think they just... There's something about them that's just not natural. Even though they are totally natural creatures. You ever wonder, though, why they have eight legs? Like, when you think about just evolution in general... Stuff like, oh yeah, he's got eight... The spider's got eight legs. Like, but why the... Was there, like, a six-legged spider, and they just lost the genetic lottery, and there's some instance where it's like, haha, loser, you need eight legs, or you're just bone? It's kind of like... It's kind of like that with octopus. But, honestly, cephalopods like that, I just don't even act like I understand. Because... They're just weird as hell. I've heard stories of them just, like, being in their little aquarium things at aquariums, and they'll just break out, go do something, go eat a fish, come back. No one knows the wiser, because they apparently learned the pattern for the, like, security, like, night guards and stuff, and it's like, how is that normal? That's terrifying. You're telling me this eight tentacled sea creature is smart enough to outwit guards and go eat stuff? What's stopping that thing from, like... I mean, land is stopping them from coming out and eating me. But, I mean, in general, like, what's stopping them from just being like, yo, I'ma eat people? What you gonna do about it? Fight me with your two arms? I have six more than you, and they have suction cups. Even though suction cups isn't the most threatening thing you can really use against someone. Yes, sir. 
You know what's a really messed up movie to watch as a kid? Starship Troopers. Like, when you're like a little kid and you watch a man just get sliced apart by a giant ass praying mantis looking thing, it kind of cements a fear in you. Ah, oh, I wanted to kill him before he hit the ground. Don't be afraid. Let's go. Oh, there's so many boxes around. Yes, sir. I think most of these are just medical, though. Think you're gonna wrap me in bread? To just get one Retarius, who was just chilling up top. Want to get to that last box? Yes, sir. Even though it will be worthless. Why do you fight when you know you're gonna yeah. die? I mean, I wish that was a higher level because that Buffalo G3 burst sounds interesting. Like, color me somewhat intrigued. All right. Mission. Bug Tower. This is rather surprising info. We've confirmed an enemy nest in the mountains that appears to be home to countless flying creatures. Head out and investigate. I am actually switching guns. Choose loadout. Two. Rangers can equip two weapons. Volcano? I mean, uh, uh, yeah. What the hell? Select a mission. Select deploying. We'll just. Unload a hail fire of rockets. Though I wish it was simultaneously fired ten rockets, because otherwise I deal with numb nuts like this guy, or this guy, or that guy. Who decided? Hey, I see you're firing a chain of rockets. I should totally just slide on in and take the next one to the back of my skull. Let me just mosey on in. They expect nothing. That was dope. Did you do it? <laughs> Okay, that looked really cool. You know, I never mentioned it until now, but this kind of reminds me of, uh... This, uh, Marwa. I think it's Marwa. It's a Korean comic about, uh, giant bugs called Hive. It's really good if you haven't read it before. It's... It's about this guy trying to find his wife after literally, like, just suddenly giant bugs appeared and started eating people, and it's pretty good. Yo, you're red. I should probably kill you fast. Or another good one is uh, Green Worlds, which is... Manga about Ranger Six. Roger. Essentially like more giant it's not even giant bugs. It's like it's mutants and just the world becoming like suddenly overtaken by plants. There's this giant like baby monster thing that eats people. I I really don't get why it's a giant baby monster, but it's pretty interesting. I mean, the other one I can think of related to giant bugs be terraformars, but that's essentially what happens if you send cockroaches to Mars and they evolve into, like, Neanderthals who can almost instantly alter their genetic structure to fight you while you're sending people who are altered with animal DNA to become, like, superhumans. Except, you know, these 
and how big giant ass roachmen can just like turbo sonic speed at you and slap the hell out of you and rip your face off. Quite literally, people get limbs ripped off, so it, it it's something else. Not bad though. How many bugs are there? Off the cliff. We took care of one. Someone take charge. Someone take command. Please command. Are we winning? Whoa. Did not expect that. Bruh. Too many. Do you not see me just like clearing them out? I'm doing a good job. Man, I wish these weapons leveled up better. Alright. Really? We're back to the fortresses? Okay. Our final mission is Fortress Attack. We failed to destroy the Quadruped Fortress, so now we will attempt to change its route. It's currently nearing our defense perimeter. This fortress is flanked by Hector's bearing particle stream cannons, and its armor is too much even for our grindbusters. We'll have to attack its weak point, which can only be achieved from with ground troops. If we fail, the city will be destroyed. Move out and good luck. Okay, we're getting rid of the volcano. Choose loadout. And we're going back to the Goliath. Weapons. Select to select deploying. As much as I would just rock that launcher, I need, you know, one hit to be good. Instead of a stream of bad hits. Commence operations. All units proceed. Our team's command, keep going. Can I hit you from here if I can line this up right? Man, I really wish this had ADS. So I'd like a little more precision in my shots. Especially when I'm clumsy. This game needs the Wilhelm scream. Just saying. When I see a guy come, his corpse just come cartwheeling towards me, it needs a Wilhelm scream. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. Oh damn, I actually should have attacked. It was open. Okay. Uh, Point taken. Hey, you wanna like open up again? Yo, uh, you like do that but be closer to me? Just, I mean, I'm making a lot of requests here, but it would just be easier for me. Or just stay open, please. Also, isn't the world still being completely consumed by world eaters? 
Like, what's going on here? Like, oh yeah, the world leaders are everywhere, but except not here, for reasons we're not going to go into. You really took that hit, huh? Aim for the inside when the hatch is open. Oh god. This isn't gonna end well. Boo, lad. Oh god, no. Please don't. Oh. I don't know the shockwave range. Destroy the quadruped fortress's cannons. No, I'm just gonna shotgun it to death. My shotgun is an absolute unit. Oh god, no! Not my face, not my face! <laughs> Neat. The gun Hector is equipped with are thought to be plasma. Please move. That is a plasma cannon. I feel like that would have been more pertinent when they were alive. The enemy is also dead, my dude. So uh take that as you will. Not gonna lie, this episode's been so short, I'm throwing in a fourth mission. We're going wild. Select a mission. Mountain Liberation. Giant insects are gathering in the mountains over a wide area, an extremely disturbing number of them. We'll engage immediately, dragon types are also confirmed. Good luck. Well, good thing dragon types are weak to fairies. Just get a Clefable and we'll be set. Don't want this. No, we're gonna go back to Volcano. Volcano's doing good. They're a hive. Oh, there's crimson ants over there. And of course I missed. Got in my way. Yeah, this is going pretty good, actually. Man, these just kill everything fights are so easy.
Uh, even more. You know, let's just just fire wildly and see if we hit anything. Oh. Really banking on that. Uh, do we go down there? Ask for it. There's gun boxes I don't need. Oh, Mahalo. Yeah, this whole time has just been actually really quick. Other than that, the missions have been quick, but that uh, walking fortress was only quick because I have a stupidly powerful shotgun. If I had a properly, like, low-level gun, I would have been screwed. But thanks to being so... so overpowered in this instance that it panned out. I'm really going to have to, like, walk over here. Boy. Can I just, like... Okay, so I get that they're not wearing pants because it's apparently too heavy. But couldn't they just, like... Like, couldn't I just grab onto, like, four of them? Or four of them grab me and just, like, lift me like I'm some kind of weird ghetto drone? I think that'd be cool. Because it kind of sucks when everybody's like, Oh, I can fly, and I'm just like rolling aggressively towards the enemy. It's like that uh, movie about the killer tiger. I cannot remember the name of it because... As much as I enjoy bad cinema, there is a level where I'm just like, nah. I can't watch a movie about a car tire that psionically explodes people. Like, it, it, it's just, it's too much. When I first heard about it, I thought I was having a stroke. It just sounds so stupid. Even now when I mention it, I kind of hope I'm living in some, like, Mandela Effect universe where no one's actually heard of that movie and that it actually doesn't exist. Because... I would feel better knowing that there's a reality where such a movie wasn't made. Let me go.
Oh, this is gonna be fun. I have no idea how to get up. You know what? Meet me in the middle. Give me a combat unicycle that I can ride, and I'll be happy. I don't even need, like, a car or a tank. Just anything. A unicycle. A Vespa. I will ride a friggin' Segway into battle if need be. Just give me something that isn't aggressive rolling. I don't even get to look where I'm going, I have to look sideways. Love of God, please aggro. Chase me, please. This mission's taking longer than almost all the others combined. Just because I have to roll everywhere. Okay, let's just get this done quickly. Okay. It's all done. Thank you. Whew. Glad that's over. Alright. So. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit the like button. Helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.